Walking speed determines how fast you get from point A to point B. But recent research shows it could also determine how long and how well you live. Before I begin, I want to say thank you because I got the idea for this post from reading your comments. So studies have repeatedly shown that faster walking speeds are linked to reduced risks of disease, better cardiovascular health, and a longer, healthier life. Let's see why it matters how fast you walk. Let me try a car metaphor for you. Just like cars have a cruising speed, so do people. Walking at a natural, efficient pace of around 3 miles per hour keeps us moving with minimal energy loss, like a well-tuned car. However, a very slow walking speed can signal your health is declining. Studies like walking speed, the sixth vital sign, argue that naturally walking slower than 1.3 miles or 2.1 kilometers per hour can indicate declining muscle strength, poor cardiovascular health, or underlying conditions that strain the body. These inefficiencies increase the likelihood of hospitalization and a loss of independence because the body simply cannot keep up. In contrast, a walking speed above 2.2 miles or 3.5 kilometers per hour demonstrates better muscular and cardiovascular efficiency. When you walk at a brisk pace, your heart works harder to pump blood, delivering oxygen and nutrients more effectively. This supports your overall body function and reduces the strain on your cardiovascular system. Studies repeatedly show that faster walking speeds reduce the risk of early death because they push the body to function optimally, keeping it resilient against diseases and age-related decline. According to the University of Sindhi, quote, walking at an average pace was found to be associated with a 20% risk reduction for all-cause mortality compared with walking at a slow pace, while walking at a brisk or fast pace was associated with a risk reduction of 24%. And these percentages are more pronounced the older you are. If you're over 60 and can maintain an average walking pace of 3.5 to 5 kilometers per hour or 2.2 to 3.1 miles per hour, you can reduce your risk of death from cardiovascular causes by 46%. And if you go above that speed, your risk declines by 53%. However, walking slower isn't necessarily bad. If you're recovering from injury, dealing with pain, or just starting your fitness journey, slower walking allows you to move without overstraining your body. Even walking slowly promotes circulation, but it's also great for mental clarity, gradual improvement in mobility, and keeping your joints lubricated. Walking is also great for brain function. According to a study by New Mexico Highlands University, quote, foot impacts dramatically modify the central blood pressures that drive blood to the brain. That means your brain gets more nutrients and oxygen so it can work better even if you're walking slowly. Besides, if you want to learn more benefits of walking, I'll include a video for you in the description below. Anyway, the point is walking speed matters because slower speeds don't stimulate your body enough to elicit enough cardiovascular or muscular benefits. Walking faster is also linked to better cognitive health because cardio exercise in general is also linked to improved cognitive performance. Doing a mile in less than 20 minutes also influences your longevity and biological age. One study from the University of Leicester argues that consistent fast walkers have a biological age that's up to 16 years younger than their chronological age. Brian Johnson should definitely add this to his longevity protocol, especially since his number one rule in life is don't die. Anyway, joking aside, the study was done on over 400,000 participants and found that people who consistently walked faster had longer telomeres, which are protective caps on DNA linked to biological age. On average, faster walkers had a biological age up to 16 years younger than their actual age, meaning their cells were aging more slowly. So, here's some practical advice to improve your walking speed. First, start by measuring your current pace. Grab a stopwatch, mark a distance of 20 feet, and time how long it takes you to walk it. From there, calculate your speed by dividing 13.64 by the time it took to cover the distance. If you're using the metric system, see how long it takes to walk 100 meters. Then divide 360 by the time it took to cover 100 meters. This gives you a clear sense of where you stand. To increase your speed, start adding interval training to your walks. Alternate between periods of faster walking and slower recovery phases, either using a timer or using the fartlek method. I'll add a link to my video on fartlek in this video's description. Anyway, this method helps push your limits gradually, improving your overall speed over time without overwhelming your body. Start where you are, whether it's a casual walk around the block or a more intense session, 
and focus on consistency. Building up your pace over time will lead to lasting improvements in your fitness, health, and longevity. It's equally important to keep a good number of steps per day. Anything above 7,000 to 10,000 steps per day is a good goal. But if you're just starting out or have mobility issues, or it's just plain hard to find the motivation, remember that even 100 extra steps per day count. Of course, consistency is the true foundation of progress. If you're just starting out, you don't need to focus on speed first, but rather on building a consistent walking habit. As you develop that habit, you can gradually increase your pace to get more health benefits. So, that's what I had to say about walking speed. Thank you for watching and for your continued support. Every like, every subscription really helps the channel grow, and I genuinely appreciate each one of you who takes the time to engage with these videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that button, and if you enjoyed this content, a thumbs up goes a long way. I want to show my dedication to this community, so I'm planning more engagement. There will be plenty of polls and quizzes in the upcoming weeks, so stay tuned. Let's also meet in the comments. Tell me how fast you walk and how you feel after trying to boost your speed. See you in the comments.